Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Daniel and welcome to another episode of the Pro Cyclist Mode with Joe Almeida, the Wonder Kid from Giro d'Italia and uh, today as we can see we are going back again to Volta ao Algarve in Portugal, so our home country and yeah, I decided to do Volta ao Algarve once again because as a comment said it, it will be good to see Joe Almeida on the same, uh, on the same races and see with the new stats what can he do and what can we do to improve our performance so that's what I'm here to do and uh, that's why I'm going to race once again Volta ao Algarve and as you can see it starts with a flat stage then it is the queen stage it ends on out of the foyer and uh, as you can see it's very very difficult I don't know what's going to be our position we have a time trial as well another sprint stage and then uh, a hilly stage so yeah it's not going to be easy as always what our garb is always a race that is not that easy it has a lot of hills and yeah I don't know if we are going to be a leader a co-leader or whatever as you can see by the team we have David Bellarini Shane Archbold Mikhail Murkov Peter Serri Yannick Stimmel and the, this guy that I'm assuming there is a region I don't know and I'm not going to pronounce his name I'm not going to do that but yeah I don't know really who might be the leader here maybe it's us the leader I don't know but it seems that we are so maybe there is a good thing and let's see what can we do and so guys as I was saying it seems that we are the leader of our team and our objective is to finish on the top 10 so that's what we're trying to do of course so today's stage is not for us of course we only want to stay on a good position and uh, try to sprint for a good position as always and yeah let's see what is going to happen and here we are guys we are entering the last five kilometers of the stage and uh, I chose the wrong wheel so that's why I stopped but yeah I'm here at the front of the peloton that's what I'm trying to do here try to stick in the front because I don't have the sprint so I just want a good placement Davide Ballerini is here as well and uh, of course he's the guy for the sprint and oh my god really I just lost the wheel come on damn it why am I following Padun I don't want to follow Padun but we are entering the last kilometer let's sprint with Joao Maida let's go to the front Lipins is in the front, Narcerboani, and it's for Narcerboani, I believe. No, Alberto Dainese from Sunweb is the winner ahead of Narcerboani and Nicholas Arndt. And uh, João Almeida comes in 13th place, once again the top 15. And uh, Davide Ballarini on 8th position from our team. So, yeah, nothing happened on this stage, just this sprint, and uh, it was a pretty good result. And so now stage number two, it is the queen stage. Let's see what Joao Maida can do. And here we are on the last 20 kilometers of the stage. We are not climbing yet, but we are very close as we can see. A big climb and uh, yeah, let's hope that Joao Maida can do a great thing today. Although he has a minus one day, let's just hope that we can do it. And here we are on the last 10 kilometers of the stage and now things will start to get hit as we start the more steep part of the climb and we have David Ballarini leading our guys Peter Serri and João Almeida and let's see what can he do João Almeida because it's not going to be easy but the Ballarini is doing a fantastic job right now putting us on a good position but as you can see João Almeida already without that yellow that is going to be difficult really I don't know we'll see what is going to happen but I'm not very hopeful right now but let's see Peter Serra on a plus three he can do he can do us a good thing today he can help us a lot so let's see and yeah the guys are putting a great rhythm as we can see and Craig Ederson is attacking it seems Figueredo is following Young Polank so of course I need to react, Sivakov as well, oh my god, what I'm going to do, I don't know, damn it, let's put a pace and maybe Peter Serri will protect us, thank you Ballerini, please protect, thank you, come on João, I need you, come on, 
last five kilometers yeah we are very close to the finish maybe we can speed up a little bit because we are still with energy and the finish is right here pause it for a little bit now as well as more attacks now is from Fernandes from Burgos and Pedersen is responding Figueiredo is responding as well and João Maida is getting out of yellow I'm not liking this at all oh my god come on Joe just stay for a little bit more and now Craig Anderson once again is attacking and Peter Serra of course is protecting us very well come on João last two and a half kilometers maybe I will use the energy gel see if there is a good thing or not but Peter Serra is doing a fantastic job for us really let's up the tempo a little bit because we can and we are on the last one and a half kilometers come on João we are almost there come on 90 now Peter Serra has always a great job and we are on the last kilometer come on João 99 now can we do it can we sprint for victory we can't but we'll be second place behind Craig Anderson who holds on to the lead and we finish on a great second place and I think we want some seconds from the other guys what they climb by João Almeida in the end and Peter Serri what a fantastic job he did, he did really what a result and so guys I'm sorry but I didn't expect that at all but in the end João Almeida just did a fantastic job really and second place on the stage and maybe second on the overall classification we want some precious seconds ahead of everybody else almost and Craig Anderson as well what they ride he did and of course now second and third place for us and uh, on the white jersey we are the first one so that is another good thing that we can add to to us in the end what the result really I didn't expect that but yeah not complaining and so guys now for stage number three we have a time trial it is 18 kilometers so João Maida has a good stats on the time trial I believe yeah so I think we can do a good thing today and uh, hopefully maintain our objective that is the top 10 and hopefully maintain our top 3 position because that will be amazing and so guys João Maida is already on the road for this time trial and as you can see Grant Thomas is the best one on this time trial so far so is the time to beat we have a zero resting condition but we have a plus one on prologo so let's see what can we do and so on the first checkpoint let's see João Maida is 37 seconds down from the first one on the checkpoint so it's not that good but we still have energy and time to recover so let's go João and here we are now the second checkpoint let's see what João Maida is doing so far and we are already one minute down so that is not good let's see on the last five kilometers now if we can recover a little bit because that's not a good time and here we are on the last kilometer now João Almeida giving everything he's got maybe he saved too much energy and we lost one minute one minute on the seventh position that is not great of course damn it and Craig Ederson just ahead of us with one minute as well so right now we are in the fourth position on overall classification as we can see we have 40 seconds down from Ron Dennis Craig Ederson with 26 seconds Peter Serra and then João Almeida with 41 we are still on the top five which, which is a good thing of course but I think we could have do better this time trial and oh my god guys now because of the classification we are now a free element and we are not the leader anymore which is a bit of a, a shame really because Peter Serra is on the best position and now he's the leader but it is what it is and we need to to go along with this and uh, try to do uh, the best performance possible to get the leadership back and I just saw we have a plus four day so it is amazing day really I hope that we have this last stage but it is what it is but yeah with this plus four we can do something here I don't know what but let's see and so guys I just made an attack on this little hill it was very steep and I just want to make a move to see what happens on the peloton and of course see if the peloton breaks apart because that's my goal here but of course that's not going to happen but right now we have a couple of guys in the front but I guess we are all together once again 
and yeah, it's not going to happen anything more on this stage. We have we're going to have a bunch sprint, so let's see what's going to happen. And so guys, here we are for the final five kilometers, and I just picked the wrong wheel once again. Damn it! Come on, I need to go to the front if that is possible. But it seems that it's very difficult right now. I'm getting blocked. We are on the last two and a half kilometers. Come on, João Almeida, to the front, please. Damn it. Really, my guy. I tell him to pick a wheel and he doesn't pick the right wheel. Damn it. We are entering the last kilometer, last sprint, of course. We are going to get very bad result today. But let's see, the winner is for EF, Kurt Nielsen is the winner ahead of Alberto Danesi and Rafael Silva. And there's yeah, Almeida out of the top 20, I believe. Let's just take a look. Or maybe not 16th place, not the top 15 that we are used to, but nonetheless, it's a top 20, it's a good result. And so guys, in the end, I just picked the wrong wheels and um, it was not a good result, 16th place. I think that we could have done a lot better this time. But now we have the stage number 5, it is the last one and as you can see it ends on a hill so it is a very hilly finish and uh, it suits the characteristics of João Almeida so let's hope that he's on a good rest day condition so that we can make a good performance and hopefully climb more positions on the general classification and do a great result because we've been waiting for that for a long time and let's see if this is the time. And so guys, here we are, we have a new row, it is to be a puncher this this time and um, I don't understand this. It says that our objective for the stage is to finish on a top 10, but then we have an objective for the breakaway. How can that be even possible? Like, I cannot get in the breakaway because I'm on the top 5 of the general classification. How can that is even possible? But oh well, I think this one for the breakaway is not going to happen, so yeah. Let's see what's going to happen down the line and so guys we are going to pass through the climb that is the finish line so we are going to climb here for the first time and we're going to see how it is the climb and then um, it's it's uh, it's almost there as you can see it's very short but steep and it's the same one that is the finish line so we'll be we'll be able to take a look to see what is the finish line and try to study to see what can we do and here it is the climb, we are already climbing as we can see, it is 2 kilometers of climbing. It's not that long of a climb but it is a steep one as you can see and already the favorites are here at the front so let's try to stay here with them and uh, we are on a plus 3 day so I think this is a good a good day to, to be on a good... Uh, this is a good day to, to have a good result and let's see, it seems that someone is attacking, yep, Ricardo Mestre is attacking, I don't know why but let's just stay here with the peloton because that's not the time to attack and yeah this is the finish line as you can see two kilometers it's difficult and so guys here we are on the last 12 kilometers and right now we have a very short but very very steep climb and let's hope that we can stay here on the peloton let's go to the front and maybe attacks will occur i don't know but let's just try to stay here in the front as fugelson it seems that he's attacking Let's put ourselves a rhythm because we need to follow that. Maybe attack as well because we need to. We need to catch them as we are on the last 10 kilometers. Come on, João. Do your thing because we need to be in the front and I think we can do it. Come on, João. As I myself is putting a rhythm, but I will stop because other teams will do that. So let's just stay here. And uh, yeah, Rigo Bertura now is working to catch them. And let's just stay here because I know that they can uh, they can reach to them and uh, then we attack on the final climb let's see and so here we are last three and a half kilometers the breakaway is right in front of us with Fugelsang and the uh, other I think it is Scott Nielsen I don't know but we are starting the climb and I don't know maybe I will put a pace myself because I just want to be in the front and the uh, Moscow now putting a pace for Garan Thomas and right now I'm following it and I'm, I'm looking very good, João Mad is looking very good really. So let's try to push a little bit more. Screw you, let's push it, come on João. Because they are still ahead. Come on João. 
last kilometer and we are not going to catch them but João Almeida is getting away from the other guys come on João start the sprint now and the win is for Michael Woods and Michael Woods is the winner but it's very very far away and we are second place once again and I think we want some seconds from the other guys I don't think it's possible for the first place of the general classification because Ron Dan is on third place so let's see and so guys in the end the win is for Michael Woods and Joe made on the second place a fantastic performance at least in my opinion I think we managed the strength very well and we did a very good job of course Ron Dan is it's very good as well and finishes on third position and we gain 13 seconds on Ron Dennis and with the bonus seconds as well. Let's see on the general classification. We are on second place so yeah, I knew that it was not enough to beat Ron Dennis but second place overall classification, a very good result for João Almeida really. And what a performance and we are the first on the points jersey, the first on the KOM and the first on the younger classification so we won three jerseys and we are on second general classification so I mean what a result really that's what I'm talking about let's go and hey guys in terms of the objectives I did an exceptional job as we can see second place of course this one of the breakaway it's a silly one and I couldn't do it of course but all of the other things and because of the jerseys as well we won a hundred points so very good thing to see we are almost halfway through level up to level 19 which is a good thing that we can upgrade our stats and yeah guys what a performance by João Meda once again this is what I'm talking about now I'm seeing some improvement and we can do better things this season so let's hope that João Meda continues like this and yeah and yeah this is it for this episode guys I hope you like it next episode we have Paris that is a much difficult uh, race and uh, we have much better guys in it so I don't think this is for us this time but of course we are going to try to do it and yeah this is it for today I hope you like it don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe stay safe bye bye